Microsoft Viva Connections puts your intranet right inside Microsoft Teams, so employees can stay connected to the organization in the flow of their daily work. It offers them quick and easy access to the tools they need, personalized content, and intranet resources. Before you get started, make sure you're ready to provision the Viva Connections app. And the first step is to modernize and prepare your intranet. Then set a home site, enable the app bar, create a dashboard and add cards to it, and prioritize content that'll appear on the feed. Once you've prepared your intranet for Viva Connections, you're ready to provision the app in the Microsoft Teams Admin Center. In the Microsoft Teams Admin Center, under Teams Apps, select Manage Apps. Then search for the Viva Connections app and select it. We block the app by default, but you'll allow it towards the end. To get started, select Customize. And then, in short name, type the name of the app as you want it to appear when you pin it on the Microsoft Teams app bar. Follow that by providing a short description of the app, the URL of your privacy policy page, the URL of your organization's website, and the URL of your terms of use agreement. Next, in full description, type a full description of the app to appear in the Teams app catalog. Almost done. The last few items are the icons and accent color. The first icon is a 192 by 192 ping image that employees will see in the app catalog. And the second is a 32 by 32 monochrome image that they'll see in the Teams app bar. Last, choose an accent color and select Apply to save your changes. Now we just need to install and pin the customized app for employees. You do that in a setup policy. I'll use the existing global policy to install and pin it for all users, but you could also create a custom policy for the app. Under Installed Apps, select Add Apps to get started. Then, in the Add Installed App side pane, Search for the app using the short name you created earlier and select Add to include it in the list. At the bottom of the side pane, select Add again to save your changes. Given the importance of this app, I recommend that you also pin it to the Microsoft Teams app bar. Look under the Pinned Apps section and select Add Apps. Then search for and add the app to the list of apps you want to pin and select Add at the bottom of the Add Pinned App side pane to finish. Since this is my home site in Microsoft Teams, I want this to appear at the top of the Pinned Apps. To do that, just arrange the apps in the order you want them to appear and select Save to save your work. At this point, everything is ready to go. You've customized the app, you've installed and pinned it. The only thing left to do now is make it available to employees. Back on the Manage Apps page, Search for the app using the short name you created earlier and select it. Change the status from the default blocked by publisher to allowed. While you're done with the technical work, there's just one last step, help employees get on board. To do that, you can share our end user tutorial with them to get them excited for their new experience. There's also a video on the page that gives them a quick tour of Viva Connections. Viva Connections helps employees stay connected with their organization right in the flow of their daily work. For more technical information, see our documentation on Microsoft Docs. Microsoft Viva.